Hey guys and welcome to Tarkov News. If you'd like to see the unofficial patch notes, in the top link of the description is our Discord link and in our Discord there is a channel called Unofficial Patch Notes. Just to remind you guys, if I do talk too slowly for you, there is a cogwheel down the bottom right hand corner of this video where you can change my speed to 1.5 times to speed me up. Now onto new items added. There's a new backpack that has been added which is the day pack backpack. This does spawns on scavs, it is the same size as the burkut and the scav backpack. Next is a load bearing chest vest. This is an 18 slot inventory so definitely a decent size. It does have two 2x2s, four 1x2s and two 1x1s and it's a pretty decent rig. Moving on to helmets, we now have a black helmet which is a diamond age bastion helmet. This is a tier 4 helmet so same as the fast MT. It does protect the top of your head and the nape. It has 40 durability and you can also attach a di additional armor for the bastion helmet. Now this is kind of like a slap plate is for the fast. It is a tier 6 armor. It does only protect the top of the nape and it also has a durability of 40. Another helmet that has been added is the Tac Kek Fast MT helmet. Now this isn't actually a proper helmet, it's actually a replica of the Fast MT. So it's only armor class 1 which only protects the top and the nape. This also comes with this amazing Tac Tech Heavy Trooper mask. Now this does look like the Mandalorian out of Star Wars, it's an absolute beast of a helmet. In it is only level 2, but it looks like an absolute god of a helmet. And finally, coming in to armor, there is a Fort Defender 2 body armor. This is armor still. It's armor class 5. It protects the thorax and stomach, and the durability is 70. This is a pretty decent fast moving armor. Now moving on to added weapon mods. There is a new muzzle flash hider that has been added which is the Surefire FH556RC 5.56x45 flash hider for the AR-15. There is already one that's in the game that looks similar to this but this is also just another one that is compatible with the entirety of the new SOCOM silencers. There is a new silencer added which is the Surefire SOCOM 556RC2 5.56x45 silencer. This silencer is compatible with the flash hider that we just saw. There are two new handguards added for the AR-15 which are the Garzio SMR MK16 13.5 inch M-Lock handguard as well as a 9.5 inch variant as well. There is also a Garzio ACH charge handle for the AR-15. It does only have two ergonomics where the Raptor charge handle is three. And now on to gun nerfs and buffs. The VSS has had its vertical recoil changed from 111 to 135. The AS Val has had its vertical recoil changed from 110 to 135 so they are nerfs for the AS Vals and the VSS which to be honest most of us if we played in the last wipe is definitely a good thing. The RPK has had its vertical recoil changed from 139 to 131 and its horizontal has been changed from 387 to 370. Now, with this change, they have also changed the barrel for the RPK, which has also been lowered in the recoil, so the recoil would definitely be a lot more better than it was before. Now on to sight statistic changes. The Burrus Fast Fly Reflex Sight has had its ergo change to minus one. The Belmo PK06 Reflex Sight has had its ergo change from minus one to minus two. The Leopold Delta Point Reflex Sight has had its ergo change to minus one. The Aimpoint Micro T-1 Reflex Sight has had its ergo change to minus two. The Trijacon RMR has had its ergo change to a minus one. 
The Romeo 4 Reflex Sight has had its ergo change from minus 1 to minus 2, and the Ecotech HHS 1 Sight has had its recoil changed to minus 1. That is the tan variant as well. And now on to bullet changes. Starting off with the 556 times 45. The M855 has had its penetration increased from 26 to 29 and its accuracy reduced from plus 5 to minus 5. The M855A1 has had its accuracy reduced from minus 7 to minus 10. Now on to 762 x 39. PS has had its damage increased from 54 to 57 and the penetration reduced from 34 to 32. T45M has had its penetration reduced from 31 to 30 and HP has had a buff with its damage from 83 to 87. And now on to 366 TKM. The EKO has had its damage increased from 65 to 68. FMJ has had its damage increased from 88 to 93 and Gexka has had its damage increase from 93 to 102. On to 762 times 51. The Ultra Nausier has had its damage increased from 102 to 107 and had its accuracy increased from plus 5 to plus 10. The TPZ SP has had its accuracy reduced from minus 5 to minus 8. And finally, 12.7 times 55. PS12A has had its recoil reduced from plus 7 to minus 12. Talking about the Ash 12, all around with its muzzle break and the gun itself, it has seen a huge decrease in its recoil, which means its versatility should be a lot more higher. And now on to key changes. The RBMP11 and the RBMP12 are no longer useless. They are used in the Black Knight building. If you would like to see a key guide for both of these, check the iCard up the top right hand corner or in the links in the description. And now on to ghost changes. Safes in the game can now spawn pistols, not just valuable items, as well as in march rooms and march circles can now spawn a sick case. The bear tonic has been changed from level 47 to level 50. The price has also been increased from 490,000 rubles to 1.5 million rubles and is no longer locked behind the task textiles part 2. So a few of the traders has had their level 2 requirement changes in the sense of rubles spent. Prapper has had his level 2 requirement changed from 1 million rubles to 750,000 rubles. Skier has had his requirement changed from 1.1 million rubles to 800,000 rubles. Peacekeeper has had his requirement changed from $13,000 down to $11,000. Mechanic has had his requirement changed from 1 million rubles to 750,000. And Ragman has also had his change from 1 million rubles to 750,000. And that is the end of today's news. Guys, don't forget to join the Discord where there is unofficial patch notes. I just want to say thank you very much for watching this. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I do stream over on twitch.tv slash piranha underscore seven days a week starting at 8am GMT. Also, don't forget to check out the spreadsheet, especially with Vipe that's just arrived. It's got all of my tasks, key guides, extracts, gun builds, all on there that will link you to all of the YouTube videos. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.